Hello guys, welcome to Tux Riders. As the first video on the new on demand series, I want to show you how you can generate a mesh in the Salon platform. The software that I showed you how to install in previous videos of Tux Riders, and then how to label different surfaces of vo or volumes as you know different regions or boundary conditions. Let's go for it. Okay, this is a you know a, a question that I received from multiple people when I when I showed different simulations in uh, you know in the post processing series, and then I I've, I've been asked that uh, okay, so how do you import these mesh files into Freeform the software the the language let's say that I use for finite element simulations and how. How, how I label those surfaces actually. And this is very simple in, uh, in, in Salome or other meshing tools like Gmesh as well. But I will show you how you can do this very quickly. And in this video, I will show, uh, I will, you know, demonstrate an example to, to label different surfaces, but the same principle can be applied to, to volumes or even one dimensional entities like edges or, or lines and curves. But, uh, you know, I, you, we will have more examples on this regard in the future in the projects when I want to show you how to, you know, for example, in the, in the biodegradation project, what, how we can import, you know, mesh files, how we can really move different mesh formats, different, different programs. So this is actually a task. A, that we we will have we will face a lot in the future but for now because of these questions i prefer to to say it in advance even before i start to talk about meshing because um as i told you in the first video we will have dedicated videos dedicated series on on meshing but this is you know something uh before that but uh yeah, I see no problem in, in doing so. So let me start Salome. As I said, I have showed uh, how to, to install Salome on, on Ubuntu and Linux. So I start it. And then uh, we want to have a simple geometry. So I use this geometry module, but we can also use Shaper. Uh, you know, you can find lots of videos on Salom on, on YouTube and on the internet, lots of documentations. But maybe I will also create a very a simple one, just just in case that you, just to have a very easy and short introduction to solo but at this moment i want to have this and uh, you know simple geometry maybe just a cylinder in this geometry module so i create a cylinder and with a radius of one and a three in this case this is dimensionless but solo would add also uh, the units can work on the on a unit base uh, but at this moment i don't care about it because the software that i use uh doesn't care so I create a new cylinder here. I zoom into that. So yeah, this is actually my my cylinder. And then I want to assume that this is like a fluid flow simulation. So this is actually something that in the future you will see that when I want to show you how to perform simple simulations in open form or in free fam or Phoenix, we will use this technique. So we assume that this is actually a pipe in which we want to have the fluid flow simulation so we have inlet here and the outlet here and this is actually the surrounding uh, let's say surrounding surface surrounding face is is the wall of the uh, of the pipe so uh, in order to do that um, you know there are different ways that we can do that in Salon but I, I think that the, the easiest way is uh, to create groups here in the geometry module and then ask the mesh module, which is actually the mesher, to import the groups from the geometry module. So uh, in order to do that, we need to create groups. So here, with this uh, geometry selected, I create, I clicked on creating a group in the new entity menu. 
And then I can select the type of the of the group that I want to create. And in this case, because this is actually, as I said in the beginning of the video, this is going to be, um, you know, uh, surface labeling, I will create this 2D groups, but the same principle can be applied to 3D objects. So the name of the of, of uh, the group, I say, well, the well, actually the, the, the order is not important for me. So I call it wall. And then the main shape is the cylinder one. And then I can say that, yeah, select this one and then I add it. So you saw I clicked on a surface and then I added it to, to this list. So I say apply. So it creates a new group here for me. You can see that this wall actually, and if I click, you can see that it, uh, in this, uh, the eye icon, I can uh, toggle the visibility of, uh, of various stuff. So I deselect it and then I can uh, select, you can see that this is actually deselecting the cylinder and this is the, the hollow, let's say, uh, tube. That's because this is just a wall. And then another group, I can also right click on the, in, on the entity and select create group. So another 2D, I call it inlet. And then for the inlet, this is actually the bottom. So the way that I rotate it is via is by pressing the control key on a keyboard and then by holding the right mouse click. So this is actually the rotate and in order to pan, I use the middle bottom uh, button of the mouse while pressing the control key. So I select this one and then I add it. You can see that there, this is another label. So this is inlet and I press apply. So another one is inserted here and then I select outlet, which is actually this one and add and uh, apply and close. So this is actually uh, how they are created. I can check them to be sure that, yeah, these are, these are the three. And then this is the, the base volume. So that's it. That's how you can create groups in Salome. The next step is to go through uh, the mesh module. And here I will create a mesh. As I said, I don't want to go to the details of this. We will have dedicated videos, but uh, at this moment, I just want to show you how to create those labels. So I need the mesh actually. So I select 3D. Uh, so first tetrahedral, this is the type of mesh that this program supports. And then for, for the algorithm, it should be yeah 1D, 2D and 3D because every mesh contains, you know, various element types. They are not just 3D. You still have 2D objects because it is, you know, the edge of the, of the elements. But yeah, we will discuss it in the future. So, and then we need the hypothesis, which is the parameters, the configuration of the mesh. So with the default one, I press OK and then apply and close. So this mesh is ready here. I right click on that and select compute. OK, so that was quite fast because this is not a complex mesh and complex geometry, let's say. And this is the mesh that I have. This is quite coarse. Let me show you how you can uh, also uh, refine it. I click on this hypothesis that I created and I, I select edit hypothesis. Maybe I put it as a fine and then I can select the, the minimum size and the maximum size of the mesh. So I select like uh, yeah, I reduce the orders in half for the minimum size and one fourth a quarter for the maximum size. I click OK and then I recompute the, the mesh. This time it takes more time to, to finish because, yeah, I, I modify the, uh, the, uh, the parameters and this is actually the mesh that I have. And now this is the trick to, to create those labels. Here it's also possible, you see that it's, it, it has groups of faces. And this time, you know, it, uh, of course, this is in the newer version of Salome because uh, th this is actually version 9.7, that these group of faces are created. But I, I can also assume that these are not created and I want to show you how to create them. So this is actually, uh, let's say, automatic linking between geometry and mesh. But let me remove them from, you know, from here. And then I want to show you how to create them actually. So I click the, the, the mesh and then here it says create group 
or you know if I create a group then I should select things so this is for manual selection of or manual creation of groups but another way is create groups from geometry and when I select that then it allows me to to select for the elements or nodes I want to have for elements so it allows me to select different uh, you know group entities from the geometry uh, bajul so I can select both uh, the, the all the three by holding the shift key I mean by pressing it and then selecting them all or control and then when they are here I, I select apply and close and as you can see it, they are all here so I re remove the eye the visibility of the mesh and then here you can see that yeah this is for the wall with an, with you know they, they have different colors because actually they are different mesh uh, they have different labels let's say and this is actually uh, the, the, th the third one and after doing this now it's time to to export it and when it's it's ready I can right click on a mesh and then export and for for the, for example for any format that you like but the one that I want to use for free FM for example is GMF and uh, because I want to have M edit format which is dot mesh so I select for example let's put it on a desktop and this is mesh one I don't care about a name so I save it then I start a new terminal I go to the desktop this is actually the mesh that is created here for me and then I can open the mesh using gmesh just to check the labels so you can see that it, this is actually where it has uh, sorry it has different colors you can see different colors because they have different labels and also from the visibility menu here I can see that yeah th this is actually three different surfaces are created one volume and three different surfaces so when I click apply I can see that yeah this is the label three this this number will be used in for example free fem or sometimes in also open film to refer to the to that surface so this is surface 3 this is surface 10 and this is surface 12 and by selecting them all I can have like something like this so this is actually how you can uh, create different geometries and create different labels for them and this is actually how it works yeah I hope you enjoy it and I, I hope if you come to this video you find it uh, useful for for your problem Thank you for watching and now yeah, see you in next videos.